I remember desiring with all my heart. I remember just, it was like two o'clock in the morning and I said, Lord, I need you. I need all that you have. I've been reading these stories about Benny Hinn and Smith Wigglesworth and Catherine Coleman, but I want a tangible experience with the Holy Ghost. You see, we must get so thirsty for God, so desiring for the anointing, the, 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 the tangible, real deal thing. And I remember being so hungry for it. And I remember my best way of explaining it is it was like, I just remember it, 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 cause my, the way my place was, my, my bedroom was upstairs. The living room area was downstairs. I just remember it was, it was like, it came up. He came up and just came and landed on me. And it was like liquid hot oil all over my body, like, like electricity. And I remember not being able to move, just being so filled with this electricity. And it was love. It wasn't a forceful thing. And from that day, I remember everything changed. And then I began to read the scriptures and I began to see things about healing and things that I didn't see in church, but I heard testimonies, but I didn't see it in actuality. And so I began to say, if the same Jesus who healed the sick, if the apostles who did all these miracles, how come I'm not seeing this at the grocery stores, in the malls? We have millions of people who claim to be Christians, claim to be following Christ, but not doing the works of Christ. When it said in John 14, 12, whosoever believeth in me, the same works that I do, he will also do. In fact, he will do greater works. So the next day I went out into the grocery stores and said, if Jesus said believers will lay hands on the sick and the sick shall recover, will it work? Now people tell me you can't do that. You know, they have to believe like you believe. What is it? And 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 I just begin to do it. And I begin to see results. Broken bones healed instantly. We went to the hospitals and people were in the in the rooms, just coming out of the rooms, getting healed instantly. And we began to see these things over and over. And I was like, man. And everywhere I would go. Can, can you stand up? Um, I don't know anything about you, but I'm, I'm, seeing, I'm seeing a breaking forth right now. And I'm seeing in the spirit realm, I'm seeing you on your knees praying. And it's like you've been a prayer warrior and, and, and fasting and believing God for certain things to take place. And I'm seeing three specific doors opening up in your life. Oh. It was like, I see you in a ministry and whoever the leader is like called you forth. And it's almost like it, it began to take place, but not in the fullness of it. And I'm seeing heaven say to you right now that what you've been praying for, this is the season for it now to happen. Mm -hmm. And I know we're in California, I know we're in LA, but I'm seeing some door open up like in Chicago, like Midwest area. I don't know if this resonates with you at all, but it's, yeah, is, my husband's from Chicago. You're from so Chicago? We're in Chicago all the time. Okay. I'm seeing a door there opening up. And you've been faithful to God. You've been faithful to God, faithful to God. And God is saying, whatsoever you do, in the kingdom of God, nothing is forgotten. That's for everybody. Nothing is forgotten. Mm -hmm. Nothing is forgotten. Yes. And so prepare yourself. The Lord says prepare yourself. Yes. Many of right many of you right now as you as you as you as you raise your hands up. You're going to begin to feel like a, like a, like a tingling in your in your fingertips. And this tingling in your fingertips is from heaven. It's, yes, a, it's an anointing touching your hands. Signs and wonders are being released to you. You're going to walk in this, in this move. For it's not about a person. 
It's about what heaven wants to do and you being available for the time is now, says the Lord. I'm looking for someone who's available. I'm looking for someone who's willing. And so even while these words are being spoken, it's being released unto you right now. Just receive it right now in the name of Jesus. Just receive it. Yes. Just receive it. We're walking into a new level, says the Lord. For the world is getting darker and darker. But in Goshen, amongst right. my people, right it will be head. brighter and brighter and brighter. So even right now, that anointing is falling on your fingertips. In fact, even right now, some woman here, you had pain in your back when you came in. And right now, the pain just left you. The pain has just left you in Jesus' name. I've been having some pain, um, some pretty bad pain in certain parts of my back since a car accident a week ago. And he called out in the, while he was speaking that there was someone in the meeting that was having back problems and he, and he called for healing. And I was playing piano, I felt some relief. I, it, was like a, it was like a whole fresh back. I felt wonderful, I felt so light. And then I sat down and it came back, it shifted from where the pain had been to the, to another place where it hadn't been at all. And um, suddenly it was there, which is really strange how it shifted. So then he prayed for me again and I, I can feel it's gone. So praise God, God is great, our Father's good. Yeah.